let's say that I have um, an email message that I want to send to people, but I want it to be semi-customizable. So I don't want to send the exact same text to everybody. Like, for instance, dear, I want to put somebody's first name there. Well, let's go to mailings, and we can do a mail merge. And these are email messages, so I'm going to click that. And now I can do a step-by-step -step mail merge wizard, and you can follow the steps right there, or you can do it slightly differently. I'm going to select recipients here. I'm going to use an existing list. Now I have this Excel file. This is the list I want to use where I have instructor, their email address, and their name. So my recipients are going to be in an Excel file. So I have to look for Excel files and I'm going to navigate there. And there's only one sheet in that workbook. So I click OK. And now it's reading in all of this data right here row by row. So dear first name, I want to insert a merge field and in this case it's first name. So dear first name, now when I want to send it I just click finish and merge and I'm going to send email messages to email. So I had instructor email and first name. This is the field that contains their email addresses. So subject line, how to send email merge messages and I can put my mail format however I want and I'm going to send it to all but you could do whichever records you want so I click OK and they'll send now note that you have to have this set up through your Outlook client but when we look over there here I've sent this to Paul and I have this and you can see in my history I have sent a bunch of these messages and it just happens really fast the end